Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Hema can do a piece of work in 20 days and Rhea in 30 days. They work together for 10 days. After that Rhea leaves and the rest of the work is completed by Hema alone. How long does it take Hema to finish the remaining work? So what's the question given? So Hema is taking 20 days to complete a certain piece of work. And Rhea is completing the same piece of work in 30 days. And Hema and Rhea are working together for 10 days. They are working for 10 days. And after that Hema leaves. Uh, sorry, after that Rhea leaves. After that Rhea is leaving. And then Hema is working and completing the work alone. So how many days will Hema take to finish the remaining work? So that's the question given here. So let me explain the question once more. Hema is taking 20 days to complete a piece of work. Rhea is taking 30 days to complete a piece of work and Hema and Rhea are working together for 10 days and after that Rhea leaves and then Hema is working alone and finishing the work. So how long does Hema take to finish the remaining work? So using the chocolate approach, we have to take the number of chocolates. The total amount of work to be finished is equal to number of chocolates to be consumed and it should be equal to the LCM of 20 and 30. 60. So number of chocolates is equal to 60. So Hema is finishing the work in 20 days. So it means Hema will be having 60 divided by 20 is equal to 3 chocolates per day. The total number of chocolates is 60 and Hema is finishing the chocolates in 20 days. So Hema will be having 3 chocolates per day. And what about Rhea? Rhea is completing the work in 30 days. So the number of chocolates Consumed by Rhea in one day is equal to 60 divided by 30 is equal to 2 chocolates per day. Now Hema and Rhea together will be having 5 chocolates per day. Hema plus Rhea will be having 5 chocs or 5 chocolates per day. Now what's given Hema and Rhea working together for 10 days. So within 10 days how many chocolates will be consumed by Hema and Rhea? They are having 5 chocolates per day. So in 10 days they will be consuming 10 into 5 is equal to 50 chocolates will be consumed by Hema and Rhea in 10 days. So how many chocolates are remaining? The chocolates remaining will be equal to 60 minus 50 is equal to 10 chocolates. So it's given after 10 days Hema is working alone. So Hema is going to working alone and Hema has to finish 10 chocolates. The work remaining is 10 chocolates and Hema is doing alone. So how many days will Hema take to finish the remaining work? So how many days will Hema take to finish the 10 chocolates? So that's the question here. So how many chocolates Hema is having one day? Hema is having 3 chocolates per day. So the number of days taken by Hema to finish the remaining work will be equal to 10 chocolates divided by 3 chocolates per day. 10 chocolates are remaining. And Hema is having 3 chocolates per day. So the number of days taken will be equal to 10 divided by 3 which will be equal to 3 1 by 3 days when written as a mixed fraction. Now let's go to example number 2. Arun and Bimal stitch a shirt in 10 days and 15 days respectively. They begin to work together but Bimal leaves after 2 days. In what time will Arun complete the remaining work? So it's a similar kind of question. So Arun is taking 10 days to complete a work and Bimal is taking 15 days to complete the work. And Arun and Bimal are working together for 2 days. For 2 days they will be working together and after that Bimal is leaving. So how much time will A take to complete the remaining work? So that is a given question. A is taking 10 days to complete a work. B is taking, Arun is taking 10 days to complete a work. Bimal is taking 15 days to complete the work. Arun and Bimal are working together for 2 days and after 2 days Bimal leaves. So how many days will Arun take to complete the remaining work? So we are using the chocolate approach. The number of chocolates will be equal to the LCM of 10 and 15. So it will be equal to 30. 30 is the lowest common multiple of 10 and 15. The number of chocolates is equal to 30. So Arun is having 10 days to complete the work. Arun is taking 10 days to complete the work. Therefore Arun will be having 30 by 10 is equal to 3 chocolates per day. And what about Bimal? Bimal is taking 15 days to complete the work. So Bimal will be having 30 by 15 is equal to 2 chocolates per day. So Arun and Bimal total will be having 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 chocolates per day. So Arun and Bimal are working together for 2 days. So within 2, within two days they will be consuming 
5 into 2 is equal to 10 chocolates. So Arun and Bimal together will be having 5 chocolates per day and they are working together for 2 days. So within 2 days they will be consuming 5 into 2 is equal to 10 chocolates. So how many chocolates will be remaining? The number of chocolates remaining will be equal to 30 minus 10 is equal to 20 chocolates. So these 20 chocolates should be consumed by Arun alone. Arun should be finishing these 20 chocolates. So how many days will Arun take to finish the 20 chocolates? That's a question. So Arun is having 3 chocolates per day. So days taken by Arun to complete the work will be equal to days taken to complete 20 chocolates. So it will be equal to 20 divided by 3. 20 is the chocolates remaining and Arun is having 3 chocolates per day. Therefore the days taken by Arun to complete 20 chocolates will be given by 20 by 3 which is equal to 6, 2 by 3 days when written as a mixed fraction. Thank you for watching.